All right, let's take a look at my current setup here that I'm using 2022. I get asked a lot, what gear do I recommend? Here's my current setup for deep sky work. Very reliable setup, very portable, not too big. EQ6R Pro, really solid mount, really reliable, good performer. I've had it for about five years almost. I did put it on this little miniature pier from Star Zona. I like it because it gives me a little bit better clearance on the tripod legs, clear that filter wheel, etc. Held on by a 10 millimeter hex head bolt. So you got to keep it with you when you're doing your polar alignment. Weak link in this mount is the altitude adjustment. It strips out, so my fix was just take it apart, weld it on this little bar. Now I got a nice T-handle and I got good leverage for doing the altitude adjustments. One hundred ED spree, good refractor. Use the pole master for polar lining. Easy, quick, reliable polar alignments. Thousand Oaks, made in America, reliable. Good dew heater, I recommend it. Twenty six hundred is a great camera. I've had it for about six or seven months now. It's really sensitive. Use the 68 millimeter OAG. This setup is all through bolted, so that helps limit tilt and sag. The 174 guide camera is really sensitive and helps me keep my guide numbers really, really low. Second gen EAF. So the power is only by USB. That's just one less cable you gotta worry about. It's all controlled by the second gen ASI Air Pro. Yes, it did have problems with the Wi-Fi, so I got that Wi-Fi range extender mounted on top and that fixed the problem and it works really great now. Really, makes automation a dream. It's got the nice four port USB hub on the back. I use all four. I like to use big industrial rubber bands to help cable management because you want them tight, but not too tight because it needs to flex a bit. A uh, quick look at my, uh, I don't know what to call it. It's an old toolbox that I put a deep cycle battery in and then I put several different ways to charge that battery, and then I've got power ports coming off it. It's a, I guess you can call it a deep cycle power tank. Works great. And of course, I run the system just a little iPad now because the SIA Pro makes it easy, dependable. You've got everything there. You've got plate solving, autofocus, everything with the ASIA Pro app. It really makes it so easy. It's almost cheating. One last look at the whole setup here. I can be set up and running in less than 10 minutes. This is my, I take it mobile imaging because that's mainly what I do. I, I travel with dark sky locations, but this is it. I'll keep using it for the next couple of years. I've got a lot of targets left to image and it's a good solid performer. Thanks for watching.